So I'm just going to show you my, my mono program, um, the basic structure of how it works. Um, so each key is mapped to a different note. Um, 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 so each note, um, if you take a single note and play the note next to it, it will be a, a whole tone higher. And that's true of any note. Um, and then similarly, if you play a note directly above it, it will be a fourth higher. Um, so that means that every scale has the same fingering. Um, and so this is called an isomorphic keyboard. Um, the way the way it works. Um, so. Let's see. Th these two are special modifier keys. Um, this turns on, if you hold this one down and press this one, you'll get piano. This is lit up like a piano. Um, so these are black keys, these are white keys. Um, this is my special layout. Um, and then this turns the lights off. Um, so this is this is not changing the note. Um, but rather just switching the lights around underneath it, which doesn't affect the the uh, note layout. Um, the way the way you change the note layout is um, if you take these three notes or these four. Uh, this cr this creates like a little um, uh, arrow pad right here. These four buttons, and so you hold this down. And uh, let me turn my lights on so you can see. But you hold this down, and then you can, if you press down, it will move um, these down. Um, and similarly, left and right also work. Um, so that's that's these four buttons right here. Um, and then these two up here are the octave. This is octave up. This is octave down. And again, you have to press. Uh, you have to press this down. Um, and then the way you modulate the key is using this button here. So you you hold this down, and you can press any other button here, and that will switch the lights to be around that key. So. So um, this isn't actually changing the note layout, but rather just changing the lights on top of it. Um, one thing you can uh, turn on in the software is um, if you check this, let's see. So, oh, and one other thing, the flashing lights is this one. Yeah, so that turns off, turned off the flashing lights. Um, let me turn that back on. Okay. And then, oh, and also, if you notice, um, lower, lower buttons have, um, they'll flash according to their, um, their pitch. So lower notes flash sl much slower than higher notes. Um, and if you get a really low note, low note, it'll go very slow. And so this is this isn't actually it's related to the pitch, but it's not directly proportional to it. Um, and so let's see. And then uh, you can so you can turn on fast play in um, in the software, and that will make it so when you Um, you can you can play a note both when you press down and when you come up. Um, and then one thing I added in is if you 
if you hold down for a long time and then come up, it will not make a... There's a timeout too. To hot to when... So it, it will... It, so it, it basically makes it so you can end on something and then if you want to... If the song ends and you don't want to make any noise, just keep it held down for a little while and then come off and it won't make any noise. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, so yeah, try it out and have fun.